As someone famous probably once said, we've all gotta go sometime, and if you're going to die, you might as well do so with a witticism or a memorable line, rather than a scream and a cry for mother, which is the subject of this lengthy but far from definitive list. The memorable things, movie characters have uttered shortly, not necessarily immediately, before they're about to meet their maker. Some of these last words are long, tear-jerking monologues, others amount to little more than a word or two, but all of them, in our estimation, are worthy of mention, and one or two we'd even like to set aside for ourselves should we have the chance to say something before we shuffle off this mortal coil. Here are 10 most famous last words from the movies. Don't forget to like and comment, and also, make sure to press the subscribe button for more awesome videos. 10. Blade Runner I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Time to die. The most moving send-off in sci-fi history, quite possibly. Poetic dialogue is given an added layer of a brilliance thanks to writer Ho's imposing yet human performance as replicant Roy Batty, a character looking for an extension of his brief life, and then facing up to his inevitable end with dignity. Ho added the final tears and rain line himself, and it's truly a magical one. 9. Die Hard This is one of those lines that's often blurted out by a henchman just before they're sent to bad guy heaven, which is exactly what happens in a sublime Die Hard. The henchman who says it is Marco, one of Hans Gruber's crew who tried and failed to gun down Bruce Willis and Finley resources John McClane, who at this point is covering for cover beneath the table. Marco's words have barely left his mouth before McClane's fired back with both bullets and then rejoined. Thanks for the advice. 8. Jurassic Park Some of the best last words are short and to the point, when you're being hunted through lush underground by smart, uncannily quick velociraptors, you're hardly going to have much time to utter more than a word or two. This is what hunting the expert Robert Malden finds out in Jurassic Park, where these man-eating dinosaurs prove to be more than a match for his gun and more evolved brain. It's a classic line from a classic film. Do we have to admit that? If we were in Malden's position, we'd probably scream something far too explicit for a PG film. Seven. Glorious bastards. It would appear there's only one thing left for you to do. And what would that be? Stick bits. See how feed us into your Nazi boss. I took my surgeon Hugo Stiglitz towards the end of this brilliantly tense scene in which a Nazi major rumbles a group of British troops, among them Michael Fassbender's post lieutenant Archie Hickox in a German tavern. Stiglitz, surely knowing that he is doomed, surrounded as he is by Nazi soldiers, faces in end with courage and just has time to throw out this great one-liner before the room erupts in a blaze of gunfire. 6. Rocky IV Man, no you can't do no more out there. I'm here to fight him. He's killing you. I gotta stop this thing. I'm here to fight, promise me. You're not gonna stop this fight. Boy, I'll tell you something. That was a pulverizing round for the ex-champion. Hey, folks, Ivan Drago is definitely for real. You don't stop this fight, no matter what. Carl Weathers went from fearsome opponent in the first two Rocky films to a boss best friend in the third and fourth, and his Grand Louis exhibition fight with the freakishly powerful Russian boxer Ivan Drago proves to be his last. Still, he did manage to get James Brown to turn up to do a live rendition of Living in America, so it's not all doom and gloom. Maybe Creed decided to save money by having the match and his funeral combined into one glittering occasion. 5. 7. A serial killer, John Doe, Kevin Spacey doesn't physically appear until the final act of Davis Fincher's influential 90s thriller, but his terrible crimes cast a long shadow over its events. Even when he's willingly apprehended by Detective Duo Mills in Somerset, he still has the upper hand, with a meticulous plan that involves a box, a delivery van, and a remote desert location. 
Space's quiet, colorless performance is brilliant at these last scenes, his eyes glittering in conviction, and even with the gun in his face, a disquieting lack of fear. 4. Star Wars Episode 4 The Return of the Jedi Go, my son. Leave me? No, you're coming with me. I'll not leave you here, I've got to save you. You already have. Look, you were right. You were right about me. Tell your sister, you were right. After years of flapping about in a cape and mask and generally being horrible to everybody, Darth Vader finally has a road to the mask's experience aboard the Death Star. Watching his Emperor Palpatine forges his son Luke with bolts of evil Sith electricity, Darth gradually realizes that he's still capable of feeling compassion after all. And thus, within the space of a minute or two, Darth morphs from a fearsome villain to a sympathetic hero, as he kills Palpatine, saves Luke, and fatally vows himself in the process. As Vader's mask is removed, we realize that beneath it, a sweet old man, played by Sebastian Shaw, lurked there all along. 3. The Terminator When it came to the Terminator, we were torn between two great utterances from otherwise minor characters. Our first thought was to include Bill Paxton's short-lived punk, whose sign-off is the faithful line. Wash day tomorrow. Nothing clean, right? <laughs> Before he's killed by a profoundly naked Arnold Schwarzenegger. Instead, we've plumped for this one, which comes from Matt Buckingham. The boyfriend of Sarah Connor's flatmate Ginger, he launched himself into a brave yet quite stupid hand-to-hand -hand fight with the Terminator. The cyborg's seemingly unstoppable strength makes Matt's line both blackly comic and fatally sad, like watching a squirrel wrestle with a mechanical digger. 2. The Wizard of Oz Both this scene and the Wicked Witch dialogue have been referenced and lampooned multiple times since, and that's because it's brilliantly handled, superbly acted with Margaret Hamilton, and a satisfying end for the cackling villainess. 1. Superman 2 Take my hand and swear eternal loyalty to Zod. Arguably the most theatrical and self-regarding supervillain in cinema, Terrence Stamp's General Zod turns pomposity into an art form, but in the end, his smugness proves to be undoing. If he wasn't so keen on getting people to kneel in front of him all the time, he might have taken a minute to realize that Superman had dropped him of all his powers. Instead, he has his sand squashed by Man of Steel and promptly falls into an icy abyss. That'll teach him. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, press the subscribe button for more awesome videos. And for more information, Follow us on Facebook and Instagram.